In this video I'm going to be showing how to do an um, event source aggregate route. Um, if you don't know about event sourcing, it's basically instead of saving the current state of an object, there are events that um, represent deltas, change tra uh, state transitions, and that is going to be persisted. So in this case I'm going to use a, an account, bank account, and I'm going to start by doing, for instance, an open account. In order to open an account, I could say that I need something like the the owner's name and I would need something like the international banking number. So I would create, create a new event, account opened, in which I save the, um, in this case I'm just going to using the ID here so that it has a primary key. I would, for instance, save the owner and the banking number. <coughs> so in order to do that, I can have a private ID. Something like this. So I need to create this event. And this event is going to be created here. I can say it's inherits from event. Just going to be like this. And now I just need to. So this event represents the transition, sh uh, the uh, state transition from not having an account to having an opening opened account. And I could do something like uh, transfer money. So in this case, I would need something like. Um, well, obviously the amount and a destination. It could be an also an international banking number. So in order to do this, I would do something like if uh, the current amount is bigger than the amount, then it's everything okay. So in this case, I would create a new money transferred event and in this case I would also include the ID, the amount that was transferred and the destination account otherwise I could just um, so I'm going to invert if it's smaller I can just throw an invalid operation exception Uh, not enough money available. Um, <coughs> otherwise, I would just create this this event that represents this uh, state change. So, like this. And then you might be wondering, how do I get it from the database? And in order to do this, or how do I reconstruct the current state from this event, because we are mostly interested in this current state and not on some previous on events. Um, in order to do this, we need to save these events that are generated and persist them in the database. So I would do um, uh, something like a uh, collection. Yeah not like this, a collection from events <coughs> and I'm going to call it uncommitted events and this it's what the repository a repository that gives accounts or that uh, uh, needs to persist accounts is going to read in order to uh, for these events to be saved so I'm just going to generate a um, these uncommitted events, and after this event was created, I can just do just can can just add it <coughs> to the um, to this list. So it would allow, uh, as I said, the repository to check on this object which events need to be saved. Um, I also need to add the event here.
So this is just one part and after these events are persisted I would need to have something like a commit uh, um, a commit um, method that is just going to saying say that uncommitted events it's now empty again so that it after it persists this object is just going to clear the state um, now something that you can see here is that after uh, transfer money um, or I I'm going to explain it in another way so how do I get the state to be the current state for this aggregate I would need to <coughs> reapply all events again so I would write a method called rehydrate that is going to receive a collection of events and in this case I, I have an open event an open uh, um, event that was persisted and an open uh, money transferred so in this case um, I could say something like for instance let's imagine that I have a uh, internal state that is going to be an enumeration that is going to be called state and I'm going to say that there is a state not set there is an opened and I could also say something like is closed so when I'm rehydrating the when I'm rehydrating the, the um, this aggregate that means I'm going to receive all the events that this aggregate um, this aggregate root persisted sometime in the past and I'm going to be changing the state of this object so I could do something here like um, I could do something like this I could write here a apply method that is going to receive the account opened event and on receiving this I'm just going to set the state state to uh, this is actually I still need to do the property private state uh, current state and by default is going to be not set and after the account was opened I can set it to account is open just like this so on in these apply methods there should be no validations it just should update the state of the object if this ev ev uh, if this event doesn't have anything relevant to the current state of the object I don't need to persist them so for instance on the case of money transferred uh, sorry transferred money money transferred actually I'm just going to say that the current balance uh, how did I call it current amount should also it should be current balance is going to be minus equal the amount of money that has transferred that was transferred so this allows me to do something like if for um, if for some reason I now write here something like public void close account and it should not receive must not receive anything I'm just going to create another one here I'm going to s say if if the state um, if the account is not opened and at the moment then I can just throw an exception otherwise I would just uh, persist an event and again update the state so and again met make an apply method so in this event and this in this read rate that would be called on a load so for instance if I'm loading a concrete aggregate aggregate root 
uh, and I'm using a repository, I just call rehydrate to all the events that belong to this aggregate route. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos about uh, how to do uh, repositories and um, also a bit of CQRS, uh, how to do uh, process managers. So it will probably come in a later video. So, but in this case, um, I'm just going to do something like by using dynamic, I can just c say this dot apply and then sending here again with dynamic there can be uh, this can be done differently by using reflection but by doing this it's going to select the correct the correct method to apply so that when the event is loaded through the repository after it is rehydrated it represents the current state of the object and this is all that there is to, to event sourcing so I'm not making some updates here. You know, usually I would have something like update state. Yet it's now opened, and like that, I'm just saving the deltas. What was changed? And notice here that I, since I don't need owner to the validation, I don't have any any property saving the the owner. So I don't need to to clutter my uh, aggregate root with properties uh, that that are not needed only the properties needed to validation are the ones that are going to be persisted and updated and i think that is um, now i just need to do the apply method also call it here and say instead of having this it like this i can just create the event it like this <coughs> adding it here and then just saying applying so that after I uh, this event is um, persisted I can check from the outside the new state of the object and the same would be done here too And that's it for today. Bye.